Hello, all you fan freaking tacit people. It's your boy Medusa, and I'm coming back with Final Fantasy 16. And um, I, I'm, I'm very confused about Ugly Face now, cause he was blonde, right, and stuff, and where it all began. And he seems kind of pissed at Clive or the events of where he began. But we're going back to Rosaria and sh stuff like that. And, like, is Ugly Face Joshua, but older Joshua? Kind of like he came from the future or something. I don't know, because he blonde, right? And he knows about what happened, and he's pissed about it. And it's so mysterious. But it's like, who is he? What? What does it all mean? Like he's it's almost looking like we have triple Joshua. Boom. Bad joke, I know. Old meme. It's starting to even look like a triple rainbow. Alright, so <clears throat> So we're, we're we're here. We're unable to travel to this location. Because we're already there. Is that what is that is that what this means? All right. Well, all right. Let let's let's continue the story. All right. The hideaway. Oh, we're going back to the hideaway first. Okay. Oh, okay, okay then. Hey. Me. Spitting great gouts of fire. He was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? Uh. You think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Oh! Jill! I forgot about her! <sighs> Go to her, you fool. <laughs> right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds. His name is not Goose, his name is Wedge. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Oh. Uh, um, are you gonna tell her what happened? <coughs> Cause if you do... All I'm all <laughs> Wait, Mugo, where? Where the boy? <gasps> Koopa! <laughs> they even have a Mugo. I've never seen one in the flesh. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. And that they never reveal themselves to humans. Koopa! Hmm, he knows the sound, but where did he? He doesn't know this at next time. Oh. I didn't have time to read. Did you understand Bukuta Koopa? So it would seem. Finally, Koopa. I've been trying to talk to you since we came here. I've been trying to tell the world. I've been trying to my papa. I'm going to rob Koopa. That sounds. Whew. Painful. Let's get this fixed before someone. <clears throat> so Jill tried to defeat Titan. Final Fantasy Titan. Not Jill Valentine, Resident Evil Titan. That's true then. It really is you. Woo! Oh yeah, boy! How's it going? It is. It is! Clive! Wanna have makeup sex? I, a hug's fine too. You're alive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, remember so back, you. remember that day, <clears throat> you know, like when... I still can't believe it. All of the shit hit all of the fans. Remember that time? Yeah. Um, Your wounds healed. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yes. 
Thaya told me what happened. He saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. Sorry, we're Raccoon City. The Iron Blood. Oh, uh, that. They Sorry. invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's gate. Must be a new virus. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. Hmm. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. Yeah. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield or Bachkawawa country women slaughtered. Oh, or that. And they call us dominant. What? Us. Oh! Oh! What happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? Um. Hey, look! Over there! A distraction! Oh. The heat it was me. I killed Joshua. Technically! No. That's not true. We're not. I know you. You wouldn't do that. I don't know. It's the truth. I changed into him again. Not long ago. The second icon of fire. The one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night. The hooded man. He, he spoke to me. Yeah, he said something. He said something. I don't remember. No, oh, no, no, that's what right. Did he say? I don't know. That's right. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, because we couldn't. We have it was silent. Found you. We have found you. What does what that did mean? He mean? Exactly. That's what I'm asking. Clive, we should go back there to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened. And so do you. You need to know for certain. Yeah, we might be and innocent. If what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Oh, she Jill, loves. I... She loves him. All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Hey! All we did was hug. I thought we were, there might be some makeup sex. But I'll see you soon then. V. Life. Overexcitement didn't happen. I should be ready too. We have a long journey ahead of us. Tanya! I see a green dot. Let's go see Green Dot. A Green Dot! Yo, the Green Dot! Koopa! Koopa! Ah, Clive! I trust you're settling in? Sure! Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. Maybe! I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. How about no? Your services will be rewarded, of course. Uh, how? I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we the once The 
rewarded now, as to the how itself, many much? I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. What's the point of this? I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? Uh, I'd be happy to help. Marvelous. Marvelous! Oh, yes, good sir! About the hideaway. What a car! You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. Prioritize the quest! Mm. Oh. It would seem like we need to get out of the place. Now we go by the entrance. Hello, my good woman. Ooh, something smells good. For me, I hope. Sure. There is. Courtesy of Kenneth. One hot meal, a simple yet sustaining dish of boiled eggs and spelled bread, lovingly assembled by the Hideaway's resident meal spit. It's just... What? It's boiled eggs and, and bread. That's so basic. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running after the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, eh? thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. What's talking about, eh? Was that supposed to be in the tent to a Canadian accent, eh? I'll... Bye, Karen. I'll talk to you later. But first... We must deliver another of these hearty meal. Back so soon? Fancied another kip in the cells, did you? Oh, I, I, you know me. I'm into that BDSM. He thought you might be hungry. He wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. Meow, <laughs> 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 It can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? So, uh, for those of you who are unsure, Curls is a monster in Final Fantasy that looks like a, is a, a walk cat, maybe like a leopard slash cheetah, with very long whiskers. So his, his stomach was growling enough that Curls would run away. Hmm. I have now put on my wisdom on yourselves, if that is how you say it. Because English... Your English sucks sometimes. Can I help you? No! Kenneth sent me. Oh! Don't tell him that. Ah, wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves, which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. Welcome, good sir. I think that's everyone. A bit like Kenneth now. But first, uh, hello, Bohumil, the chief botanist. You, newcomer, I need help. Uh, what's the matter? Yeah, what's up? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. 
Please, I beg of you. Will you go and check? I have to know. Uh, all right, I'll go. Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwig. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps. But the soil there is second to none. Now go, and do not linger. Why, it may already be too late. Okie dokie. Search for more humans, assistant at Golden's Bill. Wait, Galton's Bill. Change the B and, and G, and it goes to Bolton's Gales. Also, almost sounds like Baldur's Gate. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, you're back. All done? Wonderful. Yes. Here, your reward, as promised. Thank you. I want at least 5,000 gills. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. Quest completed! A place for everyone. Oh, we got some XP points. I got a hundred of these. A hundred... A gill bug, yeah? Oh, yeah, that's right. Velvet <gasps> can be traded for gill. I don't know how much. Bye, Karen! Well? So, what would it be? Um... Oh. Didn't I just get a new weapon? Right? I got- I have the storm cry, right? But then this one incre- Oh, Jesus. Come on. Ooh, I need steel silk. 29 of them? Whoa. No scratches, right? Oh. Ah. Oh. Well. Mm. Like. Oh, wait. Yeah, the guy bleeds. Jesus. Look at that. Why, I just got the weapon not long ago. It seems like we can upgrade stuff very quickly here. Yeah, that should do you. You can thank me later. Then. Yeah, that should do you. And Fancy a mug of <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Hey, Karen. What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know that you don't come here for conversation. No, oh, you know! Too mean. Oh, well, I guess we could buy the guy blade and then upgrade it. I think, right? That That is something, right? You're rubbing me blind, you know.
Oh, wow, I have enough of this. Hmm, the Breath of the Wind, Rook's, Rook's Gambit. Mm. Reduces Rook's Gambit cooldown by 2.7 seconds. Is that worth it? For 11,000 gills? Off you go, then. I should probably say thank you to Gav, too. Mm. I'm busy here. So, what would it be? Uh, my Gaia Blade. I want to reinforce my Gaia Blade to a Gaia Blade plus one. You can thank me later. And then I can improve it to a Gaia Blade plus two. My best work, but it'll do. There we go. Hmm. Very interesting, yeah. What? Oh! Be quick about it. Can you like crack a smile or something? I reckon I can find a buyer. Where are they? The gill bugs. Ah! They're only worth two hundred gills each. Oh! You got I asked for five thousand gill minimum. Hmm. Is it all? No value. Okay, so these are valuable. Can be traded for gill, so I reckon I can find a buyer. Let's, let's are they all are they in order? Ooh, okay. Yep. Is that all? Yeah, that is all. Thank you. Hmm. So, so which one is it? Rook's, Rook's Gambit. Mm, it's the one that lets me dodge. Alright. Dodge and counter. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. For 11,000 gil. Would I want that? Over my current gear of the epicness. Oh, what are these? These are new ones. I did not know it. Batch increases attack by seven. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, those are the ones that I have equipped. Yes. And these are the four other ones. Increases healing potency of potions by 20%. It's kind of good because that means I use I use less potions. And I, I need the potions, right? I just need to learn. Like, if I do that. Like, if, yeah, if I do that, I would change it from the ring of timely assistance so I'm gonna have to learn to use a uh, doggy Torgage or whatever right what's up Gav so your mind's made up is it we'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able back down memory lane eh Rosaria ain't what she used to be Clive, and not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. I'm see ya! I'm I, I'm I, um... Take care. Alright. Was that some sparks going on there? Crap it, goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Some bromance going on between Clive and Gav there. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady. Ready. All right, so yeah, let's end this one here, and we're gonna be going back to Rosaria, right? What was this? The three reeds. 
Rising waters transformed once fertile farmland into a noisome morass, uh, rendering it nigh unhind- it uninhabitable <laughs> to all but leeches and lizards. Alright, so, yeah, we're going back towards Rosaria. We're going to see what's going to happen there. Or, wait a second. Maybe we can start it here and go look for the assistant and then go to Rosaria. I guess we'll find out what I do in the next video. Bye-bye. Hello? Who is this? It's fucking weird.